Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be doing a quick review of the Legion 7i. As you can see, I have uh, all the default settings except the uh, turbo mode. Everything else is basically stock out of the box. Running uh, Cinebench. I don't have much time on this computer yet. I received it Thursday. Um, well, I actually got to open the box Friday. And I want to compare this to the X17. I want to be as fair as possible. So all laptops are using, you know, the same variables. I did uh, pick up some interesting results, though, with the Cinebench. As you'll notice, it starts off fairly strong. Pulling in about 4.5 gigahertz all cores. See, the temperatures are fairly good. And then with all my testing, what happens at about a minute and 10 seconds into the test... Uh, this will hit, I believe, 90 C, uh, CC, 90, 90 degrees Celsius. And that's where it'll just fall on its face. You should see the temperatures start to climb slowly. It'll finish the full first test and then slightly in, into the second is when it'll uh, significantly slow down. And that's after hitting about 90 degrees. See a pretty good score, 14.915, but you'll see that this is going to change drastically here um, any second now. See, we hit 90 up here, and now boom. And that's as best as I can get. Um, I haven't had a chance to overclock it yet. It doesn't look like there's much in the way as of factory overclock settings. So I will have to get a third party, probably throttle stop. Um, so I'll try to get better results there, but after numerous tests, I come up with the same results time and time again. Now you'll see the temperatures are very, very low for the remainder of the 10 minutes of this test, but the clock speeds don't boost up any higher, and it won't push the temperatures any further. So a little, uh, little confused about that. As you can see, we're going to get a lower score now. Um, our temperatures won't exceed 80, but neither will our, uh, our gigahertz or they will also won't exceed four so oh, let me refresh this see dropped about 700 points and until the end of the 10 minute test it will be right around 1300 so we'll let this run for the next 10 minutes and we'll see how it looks
So as you can see, the performance slowly drops over time. The temperatures never got too high, which is kind of disappointing because the results are just mediocre. And the temperatures are good, and I do like that, but as I stated, it's not running the processor um, nearly as fast as it could. So that's what I'm here to do, figure out how fast we can get this thing running, what kind of temperatures we can get, what kind of score we can get um, as a comparison with the X17. Uh, so we'll work on that a little more, get some more videos up. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.